Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We jump again again. This time I'm going to play a Swindler because it's been a little while since we played as good old Swindly and um, he's a lot of fun. So I just want to jump in and see what we can get done as him. Um, having all the extra money and stuff as this guy makes him a lot of fun. Don't know why I haven't been going for the extra stuff from the arcade machine recently. I'd normally cheat myself some extra stuff to start with by going to the arcade machine, but I've kind of been not doing that recently. I've been, I've been thinking like... Maybe I should start going for a little bit of a, like, a win streak on Gungeon sometime soon. Because I've been doing that on Isaac at the minute. And it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm not going to sort of spoil why that is because I've been backlogging a bunch of videos. So the streak might be over. It might be gone. But either way, I enjoyed it while it lasted. Or do I still enjoy it while it still lasts? You'll never know. Um, but yeah, I backlogged a bunch of... Uh, Binding of Isaac videos today and over the past few days because I'm going to Amsterdam tomorrow. Uh, my birthday is in two days. Uh, it's on the 24th. So my girlfriend booked us a holiday to Amsterdam for the week, which is going to be quite nice. Um, and so I had to prepare a bunch of YouTube videos ahead of time to make sure you guys still get your lovely little content while I'm away. Um, but yeah, we, we unfortunately got a really, really poopy shop here, which is slightly annoying. Um... I guess we can still go oubliette, though, with this good old fella. But I love this guy's shotgun. It's so goddamn good. Um, but yeah, so I've just been backlogging. And yeah, it's been fun to sort of try and get on a win streak. And I've been thinking, yeah, I'd, I'd, I've never really sort of tried it on this game. And I don't really know why. We got some junklets here. Um, which, junklets aren't great overall. Um, but they're not bad either. Uh, essentially, basically, it just gives us the same effect that we get if we were playing as, um, the robot, which is... Oh, for some reason my... Wait, what? Why are my stats not appearing? Okay, there you go. They are now. Yeah, it gives us a 0.5 damage multiplier for every, um, for every junk we have. Honestly, as an item, especially with it being, um, C tier, it'd be nice if it was 10%, but, eh, I kind of understand why it's not, but, eh, I kind of want it to be stronger. <laughs> That's just me complaining for complaining's sake. It doesn't really need to be stronger for any reason. I just want it to be. Um, but yeah, we already got one junk. That's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I'll go to the. I'll try and go to the jungle floor maybe because um, the the lock things, lock gates are only twenty each, which means they're pretty cheap for us. Um, and there's a decent chance that we get that money. Um, it kind of depends on if we get sacks really, which at the minute obviously we're not getting. Okay, we got that guy, that good guy there. Kind of forgot this guy didn't use keys for a hot minute as well. I went to buy one in the shop and was like, wait a minute. That's not a thing on this character, is it? We do get a jammed enemy there, which is more money. I kind of forgot about this as well. I completely... Do you know, I haven't played this character in so long. I completely forgot that he loses a bunch of money on getting hit. Okay, so a money situation is not great right now. I'm hoping for a few sacks here and there, but we haven't had any yet. We haven't had a single one. Good, good. Good, good bit of money coming in. It's really all luck of the draw, really, with this character, if you get sacks or not, isn't it? Sometimes you get a ton, other times you barely get any. I'm really hoping that we get at least one, because I think they're 15 each. We've already got up to 40, though, now, on money. Uh, or very nearly. We'll be there after this room, I suspect. Uh, well, nearly. So we've got enough to get in the uh, the door, but I, do I want to open this, though? This is a tricky one. It's, I was going to go to the um, thingy floor, um, jungle floor, but now I'm kind of not sure. I do kind of want the, uh, the green chest opened. I mean, let's go do our boss first and see if we, for one, don't get hit and for two, what we end up getting. Uh, this is yellow boss champion. I don't remember what yellow does. It doesn't seem to be doing anything for right now, which is good. Oh, for fuck's sake. I got caught up on the wall there. I, I, I positioned myself really poorly. Honestly, I'm really out of sorts with Gungeon right now. I haven't played it in a little while and... Not accepting that run. I, I I played like trash there. I'm not befitting of that run. Roll me back again. 
Roll me back again. That was horrible. I got hit twice against the Bullet King. What's wrong with me? Also, Junklets can go fuck itself. I don't want Junklets. <laughs> I want some better. Nah, I kind of sort of misprioritized. I probably should have just gone and opened the, the locks prior to, um, prior to doing anything with the boss. Would have guaranteed I kept the money, but eh. Whatever. Whatever. And yeah, this, this time can I have even a single sack? Or, this time, can I maybe have something to be sold in my shop? Like, literally anything. Instead of literally nothing. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, the current iteration of Rats. For those of you that don't know what Rat is, it's the room architecture tool. Basically, the tool that is used for, to make um, custom rooms in Gungeon. I've used it a lot in the past when I made rooms for Expand the Gungeon uh, for the jungle floor and stuff. But... Uh, it has been currently been worked on pretty heavily by Bunny, and I think Never Named has been doing some back-end stuff as well. I think it's mainly the bun Bunny that's been doing the back-end, if I'm correct on that front. Either way, there's been some really goddamn cool stuff coming out of it. Um, and uh, they they've they've basically, before, it was good, but it was it was somewhat limited in what you could do with it. Essentially, like, there were some things that you could find in regular rooms that you couldn't actually place using the tool, like... Like the saw blades that you can see in some rooms, minecarts, stuff like that. But basically they've enabled all of that, as well as a bunch of other stuff. And they're making some really interesting stuff with it, so I'm looking forward to that. And apparently there's going to be potential chance for custom shop layouts, which I'm not 100% sure of. But I'd really love it if there was some way of guaranteeing item spawns in the shop via that. Although I, I, I have a feeling that's not possible. Oh, there's a sack. Oh, I fucking missed it. I finally got a sack and I missed it. At least I got the other one. I kind of too deep in my conversation, I wasn't really paying attention. But we got one already. Let's just try and not get hit this time around. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to when that update releases and we can see some really cool stuff out of that. So money-wise, we're doing really well this floor, so I'm a lot happier... And, like, just very pleased that I killed myself and restarted, I'll be honest. That was a genius move, frankly. Good. Shoppeth, please have something worth buying. Um, you do have some good stuff. Uh, the last chamber, I have absolutely no idea what the last chamber does. I also don't know what the dragon skull does. Um, don't we have an item on that shows us descriptions? Okay, yeah, it just doesn't work for some things. Shadow clone is also good. Um, the last chamber. It sounds fun. I think I'm gonna gamble and try and buy the last chamber and hope it's good. Um... Basically, I'm saying gamble because I could get hit while trying to get the leftover amounts of money that I need and it could ruin it all. But I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'll take a curse. Now, a sack could end up spawning here and I can't get it, so I've got to be a little careful here. Come on, I need a sack game. If I can't get it, I'll take the Dragon Skull, obviously. But we'll see what we can get. We're getting a lot more of these champion enemies now at this point. Where are my sacks? Also, this is a long-ass room. What the hell? Where are my sackets? Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, good, we're almost there. Well, this one's free, so I'm just going to open this one. I tried to get it in time. I don't know what the ghost I just got is. Enemies have a chance to reanimate as hollow points. Okay. Half decent. It's not amazing. 
As long as- wait, actually, it might be terrible. If, if the hollow points can hurt me, then it's absolutely goddamn awful. But they wouldn't be able to hurt me, would they? That would be stupid. Oh, they can hurt me. Huzzah. That's useful. We're almost there for money. Damn you chests. You betrayed me. This gun better be fucking amazing. Oh, dude, I need five more. So basically now I've got to gamble that I don't get hit on the boss so that I can get five more casings. Unfortunately, I do not have a great weapon for killing this guy because I have to get pretty close to him. Now to deal good damage, which isn't conducive to the weaponry I have right now. Probably going to take a little while here. Luckily, we do have the layout where we can cheese him a little bit, but not fully, because he can sort of cheese us around these corners a little bit. Basically, our biggest hope of doing good damage to him is get him sort of as he rounds the corner a little bit and wait for him to do the attack where he, um, where he fires off a bunch of rockets and just play it sort of like that. This is going to be a real pussier fight here. Good. There's the rockets incoming. Unfortunately, he kind of rocketed in a way that was not great for me there. Okay, we got him. Good, good. Please give us at least five casings, you big hunk of shit. Thank you, he did. We got the ring blaster thingy. Um, and we'll go and buy this and hope it's goddamn good. Well, it's got infinite ammo, so that's, that, that's good at least. Um... Right, a gun that once heavily wounded Caliber destroying her seventh arm. In anger, she cursed the gun and its wielder, trapping their soul inside of it. Caliber's, um, vehement, vehement? Hatred imbues it with great power, but ensures it will break once fired. What? So... What I'm hearing is I get one shot and then it breaks. So, it's terrible? <laughs> I'm, what I'm going to guess is, I'm going to guess I get to use it once per floor and it's an insta-kill. That's, that's my current theory. That would make it pretty S-tier. But I'm not entirely sure, you know? I'm not entirely sure. It could be that it's a one-and-done sort of gun, but why would it have infinite ammo if it was a one-and-done gun? I'm a bit confused, to be honest, but, like, I don't really want to use it on, um... Oh, fuck me. I don't really want to use it on, um... a regular... enemy, just in case. Because if, if it is truly one-and-done, it'll be a, such a waste. Also, we got this ring gun here. This ring gun drags you towards enemies as you shoot at them. I think it increases the amount of casings you get for kills or something as well. I swear it has some sort of other ability. Either way, it's not good for us. It does good damage, but it's, it's dangerous. It is so very dangerous. Wait for this thingy to wear off. There you go. Even more so when there are pits involved. Dude, this game, like, you're not going to give me a single chest that I can open? <laughs> uh, I mean, last, the last floor I did have chests I could open. I just chose not to for a gun that might end up being completely worthless for us. Oh, dude, now. Come on. I could go and open this chest now while I've got the money. I will do exactly that. And I get the soap gun. Soap gun's pretty good. Ah, oh, bugger.
Oh, dude, I missed so many sacks there. Fuck's sake. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm... I'm annoyed by the situation I found myself in here. I just have crap weapons. Like, this thing does good damage, but I... I don't want to be pulled towards things. It's... It's getting me killed. I don't like it. <laughs> uh. Let's use the syringe gun. It's my best, my best gun so far. My best gun so far. Right, shop. What do you hold for me? A whole load of feck all. Th this character is quite literally ruined by how pathetic the shops can be. <laughs> like, this character is so much fun. And it's like, do you know what? What if the shops had literally nothing of value most of the time? That'd be really fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> Ugh, so annoying. At least there's other aspects of the character that are still fun, like opening chests with money and stuff. But... God damn, the actual physical shop itself is just bollocks. It's just so pathetic in this game. I wish it was like uh, it was in The Binding of Isaac, where I always had at least one guaranteed item for sale. Uh, I realize this one did have an item and it was just a bad item, um, but like a lot of them don't have items for sale. Um, sweet, what the fuck happened there? I had like a massive lag spike and then... This is not a, not a good run. Run's pretty gross. And that's a mimic as well. Love, gotta, gotta love the way the game really throws you a burn. Why this room? It's giving us keys galore for a bunch of money. But guess what? There's so much to spend it on. <laughs> Ah, oh, this run's a little salty. I apologize. I'm just, I'm annoyed at how bad things are going. If I die here, I die here. That is the video. <laughs> it's going to be a pathetic one. It is. I don't know. I'm, I was, I was, I think it's because I was really in the mood for Gungeon when I started this episode. And I'm really not so in the mood for Gungeon after the way that it's gone thus far. Right, let's, let's see what this goddamn thing does. It was a one-shot kill. Now. It's literally gone. That was... That was terrible. Why did I pay all that money for that? I can't even refill it. What the what? What what kind of BS was that? <laughs> that was. I, you kills a single boss and that's it. I was expecting it to at least allow you to do it once per floor for an S tier. I know that's quite strong, but like, it, that should be like B tier at best. It was, it was an S tier, right? It cost 144 on the first floor. That's S tier. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's S tier. That is... I mean, I'm guessing, like, it can kill endgame bosses in a single hit, which obviously does make it pretty good. But, like, the makeshift cannon... I realise the makeshift cannon's a bad example because it's one of the best S tier things, but it's just, like, that was... No. That was not even remotely worth what I paid for it. <laughs> I, w I probably wouldn't even pay half of what I paid for it. I would not in any shape call, in any form or way, call that S tier. Unless I'm missing something, there's a very strong chance I'm just missing something. But a suspicion tells, oh, for fuck sake. I hate this.
Oh, I should not have played the Swindler today. I'm not in the mood for this BS. Not in the mood for it. I get this stupid item with the ghosties that still hit me. I get the stupid gun that drags me towards enemies. I get this gun, which I'm actually quite liking this gun. It's pretty good, but it's really low range. Black bullets. Yes, please. Oh, we get this thing, which we can't even play because it's super fucking loud for me. Oh, that's... Who... Who decided this was a good idea? <laughs> ah, the classic Turtle Salt episode. They come once every month or so, maybe a little, maybe a little more, a little less often than that, but they are inevitable. The game gives me reason to be salty, so. I'm liking flak bullets, I gotta say, I'm liking flak bullets. They are doing me a solid right now. Get out of my face. Roll over the little cunt. There you go, we got him. Let's just do our boss now. We don't have really good weaponry for fighting the boss. Oh, it's Dollar Lord. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Got my little doggy doing some good work here. Uh, excuse me? I can't really fight this guy very well with this with any of my weapons right now because this thing does great damage, but I have to really, like, get up in his face. I can't really use the, um... I can't really use the... What, the, the, this thing, the ringer, because it's just going to pull me towards him and that's no good for anyone's health. Just going to walk into that damage there. I'm just going to die, aren't I? I don't care. I'm just going to stand next to things and hope for the best. Oh, baby. Okay. We do have this at least. That's, that's nice. The synergy for this is good. Now let's see if we can get enough money to open up even a single chest. The only thing with this thing is it does kind of burn through ammo pretty quick. Ow. I'm just not used to Gungeon right now, I'll tell you. I'm just not playing well at all. I've been playing too much either. Maybe I need to swap over to mouse and keyboard on this game for that finally. I'm gonna die. It's all my fault. Definitely shouldn't have played Swindler. Thought it'd be a good time. Clearly I was wrong. <laughs> Get in the pit. There's a sack there. Look, right there, you can see it. It's gonna disappear. You bastard. That was my sack. God damn it. Okay, good, good, good. We're plowing our way through. Definitely gonna need a better weapon than this soon, though. I'm just, I'm really salty. Really, really salty about that weapon that I picked up that was just trash. We got ourselves the eagle. Could be interesting. Doesn't really do much with flak bullets, of course, but... Is that the actual TF2 sound effect for this rocket? Or am I tripping? Just got killed by that guy. Okay, that was a really short episode, but I'll be honest, that's all you're getting, because I just can't. <laughs> Let's go on a little win streak. Instantly fucking dies. Anyways, that was pathetic. I'm bad at Gungeon. Let's leave it at that.
I'll try and do more Gungeon coming back next week off my holiday, but this week this will be the only episode. I do want to get back to doing two uh, episodes a week. I was in the routine of doing that and I've fallen back into one a week. I want to get back to doing two a week for you guys. Honestly, right now, the main reason I don't is booting up, like, from, from me clicking on start game, like, to me getting into a run... It takes around 30 minutes, because the game takes so long to load. Like, even just this look, you see how long this takes to load back into the breach? And it really, really demotivates me to play the game, because I just, I can't spend half an hour just waiting. Like, that's literally, this video isn't even as long as it took me to load the game today. Like... I spent longer watching a loading bar, well not literally, but you know what I mean, than I did actually recording the video, and I, I can't be doing that, like, often, so... Unfortunately, it is what it is. I've, I, what I'm trying to do is batch record, where I, like, open the game um, and then record, like, two or three videos, but sometimes I just don't have the energy for that. And, like, today, I'm clearly not in, in the right headspace to be playing Gungeon. Either way, I'm enjoying the game still, don't worry about that, I still want to keep playing it. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.